What's up, YouTube? Today I got uh, the Unifader Pro in the mail. I got it from uh, DJDeals.com. Um, 149 free shipping, no tax. Pretty good deal. Uh, the Innofader Pro is basically the same as the original Innofader. The difference is it comes with uh, adapters so that you can uh, adapter circuit boards that is so that you can uh, install it into uh, you know various analog mixers you know other than VCA. Um, let's check out what's in the package here. What it comes with. It comes here with all your can see here here's the circuit boards and you know wires that you're gonna need to hook it up and we're only gonna need like maybe one of these little uh, circuit boards the uh, analog one I believe it's uh, let me see it's uh, I'm not sure which one it is but uh, it's a non VCA uh, circuit board adapter anyway and then here's the innovator itself it's uh, you know, really nice, um, real smooth to the touch, and this has not even been calibrated or, or anything, it's just not even loop. it just feels really smooth, um, unlike any other fader you have touched, I'm, I'm sure of it. Anyway, um, this is this is the baby right here that's going to get installed into a 1992, early 90s. Newmark 1750 or 1775A, I should say, uh, PPD series mixer. And here we got uh, also the uh, sticker and lubrication and the, the, the knobs that go onto it. We got the uh, adapter plate for, uh, I believe this is specifically for a certain type of mixer that is out there, which I will not be using. And also the shrink tubing that is very important that you use because if you don't have this and you turn on your mixer and it shorts out, it could damage your your innovator as well as your as well as your mixer. But anyway, um, we're gonna move on now. We're gonna go to the mixer that we're gonna be putting this puppy into. I'm about to start tearing this puppy apart. It involves taking all the knobs off. There's a couple screws on top. There's a face plate that has to come off. So this is uh, what it looks like. It's an old school baby right here. You can see it's a uh, really old school style design, you know, circuitry involved here. Faders were not replaceable. This is uh, actually part of a circuit board or PCB board. And I have to kind of kind of cut that sucker out of there. And you can see there's the circuit board right there. You gotta remove this. This thing I'm touching right now, that piece of tin out. I gotta remove this circuit board right here. That basically what this was is the actual actual computer, you know, or sampler I should say, that this mixer boasted in its time. So um, that'll be the next thing, and uh, I'll show you guys that step after I'm I'm there. Well, people, here it is. I've cut the, the circuit board PCB, you know, in order to be able to install the inno fader into this mixer. As you guys can see, I have a lot of uh, circuits to reconstruct and determine as, uh, as to what they do on this board. But it's, again, it shouldn't be that complicated. It's, uh, it's more than likely a common ground for all of them, and then your hots for your right, left, right, left you know for your dual channel circuitry so anyway um, I think the hardest part for me is going to be finding out the power and setting up uh, the VCC lines for the innovator um, voltages uh, I might end up having a contact Elliot uh, on that the innovator manufacturer or creator I'm at the final stages of the uh wiring with the inno fader I got it all set up right here there it is uh, doing some final tests this you know tape here is what I used to um, tag the circuits that were required for uh, you know the fader to work I tap my power from here 
at the rectifier circuit. Um, you know that's on this board here, which you know I checked, and the voltage uh, was uh, in within the right range for that, which was about 10 volts. Um, also, um, I shrink tubed all this stuff here, so everything's nice and neat. And here's where the old fader is right now. I just used it as a guide so I can trace the circuits. And I was doing some tests right now. Um, it seems to work okay. The curve is a bit sharp, so I'm gonna try to adjust that stuff as soon as I'm done putting this thing back together. But this is it. Um, also, want to thank Elliot Marks, the Anal Fader inventor. You know, I emailed him in regards to this project, and he was kind enough to reply to me and help me out with it. You know, uh, it came down to the voltage specifications and the power setup anyways uh, when I'm done you guys will see the next step so I'm done finally so now I'm just putting everything back together here's the uh, inno fader adapter circuit board the inno faders in there already as you guys can see look at that baby right there and um, all I'm gonna do now is hook up the well actually my phone my iPhone and uh, adjust the curves the way I like them and um, it seems to be working great I've already done a couple of tests and um, and that's about it and when I'm done finally getting it all situated I'll show you guys the results now uh, the fader didn't work on the original area that the original one was at so I had to cut through it so that the inner fader can come through and as you can see right here, this is how the old one was. This is what I had to do. And then I also had to um, drill some holes here on the, the faceplate. Because the, you know, the original ones didn't have any holes. So now that's what I had to do. And I did it as best as I could, you know, so that it looks like it's original. But anyway, uh, that should be it. I'm done. It's all about putting it back together. Inno fader installed. Works great. No problems. That's that. And uh, ready to hook it up. We're done.